After just a few practices, I was running up the field with the ball. 17 year old Jen Grewer fell in love with rugby. I had gotten tackled, and so I set the ball down. It's challenged her, brought her the support and friendship of a team, and a whole lot of good stories. And then I look at my arm and I walk to the trainer and I'm like, there's a tooth in my arm. It was just a random tooth that happened to be on the field. And then the, the trainer took it out with like a pair of pliers. But the scars aren't only physical. There were spectators yelling at me about how I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be on the field. Is it hurtful? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Jen is a transgender athlete playing on a girls rugby rec team in Northern Virginia. Now I've heard them scream, that's a boy, there's a boy on the field, why is there, why is there a boy playing? Um, it's heartbreaking because she's not, you know, she's, she's not. She's my, my second born little girl who, you know, it's, it's just not fair. What is it like for you to hear people say those things about your daughter? It makes me wonder about her safety because you don't know what somebody's gonna do. Jen and her mom, Amanda, sat down with us at their home in Stafford. I just felt like I had to. It was my like duty as a trans athlete to speak up about other trans athletes, but I don't want to. I just feel like I need to needs to, especially after news out of West Virginia, where Governor Jim Justice signed a bill that bans transgender athletes from playing on female sports teams in middle and high school and colleges. Supporters of the ban say it helps, quote, level the playing field for female athletes. I've never met a fellow rugby player who cared anything about it, but I know there's tons of people in West Virginia who would love to play rugby, but are now being kept back by that rule. And so it's just difficult to see my like trans brothers and sisters be denied that ability. The Brewers know what that possibility feels like. Jen's straight, coach had to write this 136 page appeal in order to get her on the Virginia team back when she was in seventh grade. She had to turn in all of her lab work to show that um, what her testosterone levels are, what her estrogen levels are, and how long she's been on treatment. It was just, emotionally draining like I don't know no one else has to prove that they're they can play rugby they just got to sign up this family hopes as Jen finishes her final high school season those watching will remember this they shouldn't even have to know a trans person for them to care about trans people because we're all human beings and we're all living on the same planet and we all want to play the same sports